All right, check it out. Today we've got a review of the Megamark A30. This is an industrial paint marker from Umark. I've done a few other reviews of Umark markers in the past, so be sure to check those out. But uh, this one in particular, it's got a nice metal body and a metal bearing inside to mix up the paint. It's suited for pretty much writing on anything, as well as it's water resistant, UV resistant, and it's part of their green label line, so it doesn't have any xylene in it, um, which is going to make it a little bit healthier when uh, in use. The 7mm chisel tip nib worked great. You can get a really broad line or you can get the skinnier if you just use the kind of edge tip to it. Um, overall, it worked great. It held up on the variety of surfaces. I'll be jumping into a bunch of different ones here. We've got a bunch of different colors from Umark. So first off, we've got the yellow, we've got a green, we've got a blue, chrome, red, black, and white. Overall, I really liked how they worked, so let's jump into the first test. So the first test we have here is on paper. It's basically just to show you guys how the markers write and how true the colors are. The first color is yellow and it wrote real true as well as all the others um, did as well. It's pretty straightforward as far as the markers, they flow real nice. They're a little big to use on like a piecing kind of setting. Um, so I'd suggest maybe sticking to like tag stickers and just tagging in general with these. Uh, that's just my preference, but um, paper was just to show kind of how each of them worked, how the colors lined um, in comparison to the caps as well as what's coming out of the marker. I really liked how they worked. They flow nice, uh, no streaking really whatsoever. And uh, overall, I really like this uh, kind of just first step to the review. So I decided to test the white out on some black plastic just to show how it worked and it was a little streaky, didn't quite beat away like the other Umark markers I've used in the past, but it did kind of streak and wasn't as clean of a line as you know some other paint markers, but that being said, it did hold up well and you can still see the white. With the next test we have cardboard is to show a nice porous surface in not that you're going to be tagging on cardboard but more so a surface that the paint will set in and to see how they streak on something that is quite porous. Uh, there is a little bit of streaking, you'll be able to see it probably best in the red. Um, there You can see that it does kind of thin out a little bit but you know overall this is a really poor surface and it's going to dry out the nibs really quick. So if you're just using these on a little bit more porous of a surface you're going to want to slow down a little bit with your tag. Uh, the colors showed true and they were able to cover over the brown cardboard like no problem and uh, overall I really liked how it worked. Um, the silver tag you can see it doesn't even beat away too much. There's not like a layer of oil around it that you know are common with some silver markers that they kind of saturate out. I like that that it's not going to be like a dirty tag and that it's kind of have a weird like ghosting around it. But overall it, all the colors sh worked true to what they were as well as um, there was minimal streaking that could easily be compensated for. So overall on a poor surface this is a really good test and I really like how they performed. So much like the plastic test with the really light colors, the white and the yellow seem to set in a little bit more, uh, which is too bad, but overall you can still see the tag, it's just not as great as the darker colors, which you can kind of expect from most uh, you know, lighter colors that is going to have a harder time on these dark surfaces, but uh, we'll see how it holds up in the next test. Alright, so we've got a painted surface and the markers worked absolutely phenomenal on a standard painted surface. This is a old piece of poster board that has been painted over hundreds of times. So there's lots of paint on this and it really, like the lines were super crisp and they flowed really well. Uh, this was probably my favorite uh, piece of the review, they worked phenomenal. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this translates as, uh, aside from like a canvas that you'll be kind of tagging over there isn't too much out on the streets that has like a painted surface much like this. Um, it does kind of resemble like a little bit of like a metal surface in that it's a smooth and non-porous surface. I guess that's probably the best translation in my opinion. Um, I do do a little bit of a metal test later but overall I definitely like how these worked and all the colors were able to go over um, the white and the pink and whatever was in the background on this test. So this is definitely my favorite portion of uh, how the markers performed outside of obviously like the paper being so basic this is definitely a nice uh, way to show that the markers were able to write true and uh, I really liked how they performed. So in Umark's information guide they actually suggested that uh, these markers worked on wood so I decided to take them uh, to the wood and see how they worked. Obviously wood is a very porous surface so you're going to see a lot of streaking and setting in um, but overall you can really just slow down a little bit and you can still get a good tag out on it. Um, 
Wood's not obviously my preference in tagging. It's going to be a little bit, um, you know, finicky as far as how much it sets in each time, depending on the wood and depending on like the finish on the wood. This is a really basic, just plain piece of wood, so there's nothing special on it that would either better the markers or worsen them. So that's just being said. I thought it was a fun thing to just throw in as an extra. So onto the metal, I chose a really neutral color as the red. It's a nice medium uh, kind of tone as far as opacity and whatnot. Um, it worked well. You can see that uh, some of the colors underneath showed through. Um, those are actually some alcohol markers that uh, I did a review on in the past. So those are going to show and be through a little bit as they are an alcohol base. Um, but over the silver, you can see that there's minimal streaking just for it being a slick surface. But uh, the red obviously shows true and it's a nice crisp tag. I really liked using these on the metal. So there you guys have it for the review. Overall, I would have to give these markers a really good review. I really liked how they worked. Um, I did some testing outside of the review itself to see how they worked in like a longevity standpoint. Um, the markers themselves, they held up really true. The nibs have not dried out whatsoever over the month or so I've had them and been kind of using them here or there. So my suggestion is definitely pick these up. I'm pretty sure they're at a good price point as well. Um, you can pick them up from 33rd and I'll be sure to hit you guys up with my coupon code to save you some. Uh, money on your order as well. Um, overall, I'd have to give these like an 8 out of 10. I know uh, I give a lot of like reviews that high of a rating, but uh, these are definitely true. Um, the lighter colors, the white on like the wood and cardboard weren't perfect, um, so that's just where uh, opacity on those could kind of, you know, get beefed up a little bit. But overall, the crisp, clean uh, lines on the painted surface were just so perfect. I loved using them. Um, and these are definitely going to be a staple in my arsenal from now on. If you guys have any questions about the UMark markers or want to check out some of my other reviews on the, the different markers from UMark, be sure to uh, click the screen right now to take you to those. They'll open up in a new window. And be sure to check out 33Third where you can get uh, the whole line of UMark markers in a bunch of different colors and to test some of these out for yourselves. That's really going to do it for me, guys. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Peace.